hey guys welcome again to my channel so today i'm doing a what i eat in a day video the first thing that i do is get me a get my kettle going so Okay, so while my water is boiling, I'm preparing my lemon and I'm just gonna slice, thinly slice my lemon. Um, I like to have lemon water in the morning before I eat anything. It's so refreshing and helps get your digestive system started. So, yeah. Okay. My water boils. And then I pour it in there. And I let it sit in there and cool down and then I will consume that. All right. Okay, you guys, so it's time for breakfast and I'm going to have me some steel cut oats. Um, this cooks up in about seven minutes and I'm using the red, I mean Bob Red Mill um, steel cut oats. So I'm basically gonna cook one cup um, of oats. I'm not gonna eat the whole cup, but um, I'll save some for tomorrow. And um, I'm going to use these mulberries just to sweeten it. So it's basically gonna be um, kind of like um, oats with um, brown sugar, without the brown sugar. That's what that mulberry. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, you will see how I do it. I will go ahead and um, blend it up into fine um, powder and use that to sweeten my oats. So I'm going to go ahead and um, I have my pot on the stove. So I'm going to go ahead and add two cups of water and one cup of oats to that. Okay, so it's boiling. So now I'm going to add one cup of the oats. Okay, so I'm going to lower the heat and let it simmer for seven minutes. Okay, so while my oats is cooking, I'm going to prepare my mulberries. And of course, this is what it looks like. So I am going to add, this is what it looks like, you guys. So I'm going to add a cup mm. I'm going to add a cup and I'm going to blend it into a powder. So yeah, that's what it looks like. All nice and powdery. OK. 
okay so that's gonna act as my brown sugar healthier version okay okay it's been seven minutes and it looks like it's all done all right so yep so I'm gonna go ahead and put this together all right so um, it's all ready so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a couple of spoons in here that should be good enough for me don't want too much and I have my oat milk that I'm going to add to it I'm going to add my mulberries that's my brown sugar <laughs> Yeah, that's the brown, um, that's the mulberries. It literally have the same taste without, you know. <sighs> and then I'm adding some hemp hearts for added protein. And I'm also adding some I'm also adding some pumpkin seeds for added protein and yeah Oops. yep and that is breakfast you guys so I just kind of just mix it all together I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this and I'll see you for lunch okay you guys so it's lunchtime and I am going to have me a, a vegan tuna salad sandwich um, so basically it's going to be the chickpea tuna and I have of course a can of chickpeas and I have some um, roasted shredded seaweed that will give me that um, fishy kind of flavor I have just mayo I have salt and pepper I have some lemon juice that I just juiced okay and um, that's all that I will be putting into this um, I also have my onions and I also have celery so first things first Actually, let me get my bread. And this is the bread that I will be using. It's a sprouted, um, spelt bread, which is a healthy version of bread. Hopefully you guys can see it. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and start to assemble this as I am hungry. All right, so I have my food processor. And I'm going to dump the one can of garbanzo beans inside of this. So basically, um, I rinse them until there's no more bubbles. Because that will get rid of the gas. Otherwise, you'll be in trouble. Okay, to this, I'm going to add three tablespoons of my mayo.
okay and one tablespoon of lemon juice I just juice this so we're gonna add some salt and pepper Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop the lid on. And we're gonna pulse this. Okay. Hey you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and pulse this. Okay, so that's the consistency of it. Um, it still have a little chunkiness to it. I don't wanna make it too mushy. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and dump this out and um, be right back. So I'm gonna go ahead and just dump it all in my container here. To take some of the seaweed and it smells real fishy so basically you just break it up into tiny little pieces if you have like little sears you can go ahead and just you know cut it up into tiny pieces uh, but this gives it kind of a fish flavor a fishy flavor but if you don't like that you know you can just leave this step out all right so I'm gonna set this off to the side while I prepare my onions and my celery So I am now going to dump all this ingredients. All right, so I toasted my bread. I love my bread toasted. And I'm going to add my tuna. Mm -mm -mm. Let me taste this. Mm. You guys, this is <laughs> this is so good, you guys. So flavorful and just good. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut my bread. All right, and there goes the sandwich. Nice and delicious. 
All right. So I'm going to go ahead and enjoy my lunch and I will see you back for dinner. All right, you guys. All right, you guys. So it's dinner time. And for dinner, I'm having zucchini and some seton. Um, and uh, so I'm just gonna saute this. I started cutting up my zucchini and I'm just gonna add uh, some onions. And I don't have to cut them all up. I'm just going to um, saute saute those and put that together. All right, let's go over to the stove. Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna turn on the stove and I'm going to use my avocado oil. I use avocado oil because I'm not gonna use a lot of it. Um, I use that because it has a high heat point. The heat, heat point on this is like 500 degrees. So you can whisk that. So I'm just gonna um, add my onions. Just let them saute a little bit. Okay, I'm just gonna add a little bit of um, garlic. I'm going to just let that cook a little bit right now. So I'm just going to cover it and let it cook for a little bit looking like and now I'm going to add me some cocoa aminos I don't know if you guys see that okay and so I'm going to cover this That's, that's good enough for me. I don't want my zucchinis to cook too much. I like I like it to have a little bit of crunch. So I'm gonna put this in a plate and I'm going to heat up my seton. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna open the container. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to eat all of it, but just about that much. I'm just gonna cover that and let let it heat up and then, then I'm ready to okay go. you guys so this is dinner um, yep this is dinner so um, basically mmm oh yeah it's really tasty really simple mm. aren't you guys so i'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye guys